Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. In recovery, out of hospital, three weeks down the road, uh, the pain is slowly ebbing away. Uh, just had a, a complete hip hop that I'd waited oh, four years, uh, four years to happen, uh, and it finally has. So here's hoping that come the new year, uh, I uh, get my life back, basically. basically. Anyway, I'm catching up on the backlog of poems, so I just was not well enough to uh, to even begin to recite poetry, but I did manage to write. This poem's called The Mob. Who are these people who have the audacity to display such anarchy? These imbeciles who show disrespect and refuse to know their place. What part of their own ignorance are they unable to understand? Since when do the dull and ignorant have the right to throw down the gauntlet in active defiance of their superiors? Were they never told that it is theirs to serve and obey? How dare they think that it is theirs to oust the establishment, an establishment built by the wisdom of fine men, who by birth and social standing are by far their superiors and therefore their masters. What kind of peasant are we rearing that thinks he can put the pitchfork into his master's hand? Have they forgotten the whip of old? Has liberalism corrupted their ability to do as they are told? Are they so stupid they'll see us drive them from their homes with hunger hanging in the bellies of their beloved children? And do they not understand, rebellion to be futile, that the state will always win and they will beg for their right to conform? <coughs> you are more foolish than I thought to think your good fortune gives you the automatic right to hold and harbour the moral high ground. These commoners you patronise form the very backbone of this country, without which we are nothing and would not survive. They are, as history proves, the cannon fodder whose descendants fought and died, sacrificed their blood in every campaign of war this nation ever fought. They are the human pulse that makes this country what it is, Human beings with minds and souls and dreams, just like you, but unlike you, their souls are not for sale. They are not fickle beings and are rarely tempted with bribes. They are the product of your arrogant greed, the beautiful meek that you have exploited. They are the catalyst behind your own survival, your neglected family that you left behind as you sailed blinkered through your life having never wanted. Your hypocrisy leaves you lacking. Ignoring their pleas to follow personal ideologies will cost you dearly. You have bypassed their welfare on your way to success and self-promotion, stripping them of their dignity and driving them into the ground with your constant quest to have more. You have watched them lower their loved ones into early graves. You have run roughshod over their feelings, showing little compassion along the way. And for those reasons and many more, you should be wary, because their protests are no longer silent. They are gathering momentum. Your indifference to their sufferings will see your own demise. And their eyes say it all, as their treatment has nurtured rebellion. Their open descent should serve as a warning to never, even in your wildest dreams, think that you can reason, let alone defeat, the emerging mob. A warning. A warning to the people who are trying to uh, stop Brexit. <laughs>